These farmers say the water table started to drop dramatically about five years ago, just after Coca-Cola set up a factory here. The company is pumping water out of aquifers, natural underground reservoirs, to make soft drinks and bottled water. But aquifers can extend for miles underground, and angry farmers claim that coke is literally sucking the water from beneath their feet. Through mining the groundwater in your piece of land, you can drain 10 square miles, 20 square miles dry, because the aquifer is connected, even though the land above might be divided by property rights. Unfortunately, coke has situated its plant in areas which are already water stressed. After eight failed attempts, Mahadev now owes so much money that he has to break rocks at the local quarry to feed his family and repay his debts. Coca-Cola have often been accused of exploiting water, especially in India, where their plant in Kerala was forced to shut down after violent protests from farmers. It is a real concern with the local farmers. However, the data that we have in the Caldera area indicates that our water use in that area has not significantly dropped these water tables. The official government figures don't support Coke's optimism. Since the plant opened in 1999, the groundwater level has gone down dramatically. If Coke is recharging so much water, then where this groundwater is going? The groundwater level should have actually gone up, not gone down. When I look at this graph, it sh clearly shows that the table depth has dropped over a period of time. And I don't know whether that is due to other factors uh, other than just water use. Coca-Cola later said the reason the groundwater level had dropped was because of several years of poor rainfall. Therefore, why the hell they set up the plant in these areas? I mean to say they are such water intensive industry. They should have set up their plant where there is abundant water. What Coca-Cola is mining is precious water as has trickled down over millennia, drop by drop. And within a few years, they're not just going to leave the habitation with no water. They're going to leave the entire ecosystem with no possibility of renewal. The hardships Indian farmers endure can seem very remote to those of us living in the water-rich British Isles. But in fact, we are vitally linked to many of the water-starved countries of the world through the food we choose. We in Britain are already actually part of the problem because we expect to have all of these fresh vegetables in our supermarkets all the way through the year. It takes 650 litres of water, 10 bathtubs, to grow just a single bowl of salad. And so what we're doing is exporting a water problem to those countries. We're exporting um, 
conflicts about water. Right? We're exporting possible droughts. The problem is that we're not aware of the impact that our consumption habits here in Britain are having on those countries. Most of our salads now come from the desperately drought-stricken south of Spain, where rainfall last year was the lowest since records began. Our year-round demand for tomatoes, cucumbers and lettuce means that water is being sucked from the earth here at an unsustainable rate. The area under plastic sheeting is now so large that it can be seen from space. Vegetables from Egypt come from a nation that has threatened military action if any upstream country dams the Nile or any of its tributaries. The water taken by Israel from the River Jordan and from beneath the West Bank has turned the Israeli side of the border green. If you look at large parts of the Middle East, uprisings are being called because of water. There are wars over water taking place already. People say that the next war will be about water. They're already taking place. Between 10 and 15 wars over the last 100 years has been related to water. That will obviously increase in the future. I mean, if you have one country full of water and the neighboring country has nothing, where do you think they will look for water? And if you don't want to share it with them, they will come and get it.